In this tutorial I will explain how you can program a micro bit to use a crash sensor. When something crashes into the sensor, a buzzer will sound. You will need a micro bit and a Key Studio 37 in 1 starter kit for this project. A link to details about the kit can be found in the notes. The components you will need are a micro bit mainboard, a Key Studio micro bit sensor V2 shield, a USB cable, a Key Studio crash sensor, a Key Studio digital buzzer module, and six jumper wires. All of these, except the micro bit itself, can be found in the kit. Details of these components can be found in the notes. You should be careful to choose the correct buzzer, the active buzzer. There are only two buzzers in the kit. The active buzzer is the one which has the letters H, Y, D, Z written on the top. It is possible your active and passive buzzers will look identical. If so, this is fine, just test both to see which one works as intended. You may also need a USB-A to USB-C adapter if you have a more modern computer, which will enable you to connect up the micro bit. You should connect the components exactly as in this diagram. A link to the diagram can also be found in the notes. Don't be too concerned if the micro bit does not go into the sensor shield at first. You will need to push it in with a little bit of force to ensure it is correctly in place. You should pay very close attention to the name of each port on the sensor shield and especially the crash sensor. These ports can be in different orders depending on how old your kit and components are. So connect them according to the names on the port instead of just blindly following the diagram. You should carefully trace each cable to make sure they are plugged in exactly as required. On the buzzer, you need to make sure that S is connected to S7 on the sensor shield. Also make sure that positive connects to V18 on the sensor shield and that negative connects to G9. On the crash sensor, make sure that S leads to S0 on the shield. Make sure that positive leads to G1 on the shield and make sure that negative leads to V12 on the sensor shield. So you should navigate firstly to make code, then select new project and type in crash sensor as the name. Then we need to go to LED and choose more and select LED enable false. Then we will click on logic and select if true, then else. Go back to logic again and select this equals block. Then go down to pins and select digital read pin. After that we drop that into this little if section, we should go back to pins and select digital write pin and duplicate it because we're going to use it twice. Then change the setting here to P7. If you look at the shield, it must be plugged into P7 on the sensor shield. The first one should be 1 and the second one should be 0. And just like that, we have completed our program. So now it is time to download it. Remember also that the cable from the computer must be connected to the micro bit when you download, but it can be connected to either the micro bit or the sensor shield if you just need a power source. So you can see once we plug in the micro bit, it should pop up on the desktop somewhere. You can see it there. Then we will go to download and you can see the file has appeared here and we'll just drag it and drop it straight onto the micro bit. Now as it downloads you should see a light flashing on the micro bit and finally when the light stops flashing you know the program has gone onto the micro bit. The crash sensor should flash a light as it is pushed. If the program and connections are correct the buzzer should also sound. If your crash sensor does not function like this, there are a few things you can try. First, look to see if a red light on your crash sensor turns on as it is pushed. This means the sensor is working, just not your buzzer. Check the buzzer connections, or you may have connected the wrong type of buzzer, so swap it with the other buzzer in your kit. Make sure you have connected all three cables from both the buzzer 
and the crash sensor to exactly the right pins on the sensor shield. Remember to go based on the names of each port rather than just following the diagram since the ports can be in a different order in components from newer kits. Also double check the program to make sure you have chosen the correct blocks in make code. You can find all details of this project at the link to the Key Studio wiki below. It is project 18 to the top.